As you probably already know, the Commodore Amiga was an iconic piece of kit for home computer users in the 80s and 90s, and still holds a special place in the hearts of many today. For me, it marked a significant upgrade from the ZX Spectrum that was being pushed to its absolute limits by the time I made the move to the Amiga, so it holds a great deal of nostalgia and exciting memories. But let's face it, finding an original Amiga in good working condition can be tough, not to mention a bit pricey. So what's the next best thing? Emulation, of course. If you've ever tried using Amiga emulators before, they're not necessarily the easiest for beginners, with requirements such as using kickstart ROMs, configuring the emulator to emulate a specific Amiga, as well as getting controllers to work, all the things that often frustrate newcomers to emulation. Depending upon your requirements and experience, these are typically things that users will want from an emulator. First we're going to take a look at the best Amiga emulator for beginners. Amiga Forever is available for PC, Mac OS and Linux. This emulator stands out for beginners for several reasons. First off, Amiga Forever is more than just an emulator. It's a complete package that includes licensed ROMs and a library of classic Amiga software and games. This is a huge plus for beginners because it eliminates the need to hunt down ROMs and software separately. The setup process is incredibly user-friendly. With Amiga Forever, you get an all-in-one solution that's easy to install and set up. What's more, Amiga Forever comes with a pre-configured setup for various Amiga models. This means you can experience different versions of the Amiga systems without needing to understand the intricate details of each model's hardware configuration. Amiga Forever is a great emulator package. So for anyone just starting out with Amiga emulation, Amiga Forever offers a comprehensive, easy to use and a straightforward way to experience the Amiga's rich history. Let's talk about one of the standout options for those who may be more familiar with Amiga emulation, FSUAE. One of the best all-rounders you can get, FSUAE is widely acclaimed for its user-friendly interface, making it a fantastic choice for beginners as well as those who demand more from their emulators. Unlike some of the more complex emulators out there, FSUAE is designed with simplicity in mind. You don't have to be a tech wizard to navigate through FSUAE. Everything from loading games to adjusting basic settings is clear and accessible. And it's not just about ease of use. FSUAE boasts high compatibility with a wide range of Amiga games, including both classics and lesser known titles. This means you get to explore a vast library without worrying about compatibility issues. But what really makes it user-friendly is its active community and support. There's a wealth of online resource, tutorials and forums where you can get help, tips and tricks from other Amiga enthusiasts. So if you're just starting out with Amiga emulation, FSUAE offers a perfect blend of simplicity, functionality and community support. It's a great way to dive into the world of Amiga without feeling overwhelmed. Now we move on to WinUAE. Widely regarded as the best Amiga emulator for enthusiasts and more experienced users out there. WinUAE is the go-to choice for the Amiga power user for several reasons. Firstly, it's unparalleled customization options. This emulator offers a depth of configuration settings that is unmatched, allowing you to tweak and fine-tune almost every aspect of the Amiga's hardware. From adjusting CPU and RAM settings to emulate different Amiga models, to fine-tuning graphics and audio outputs for the perfect emulation experience, WinUAE gives you total control. This level of detail is a dream come true for enthusiasts who really want to dig into the nitty-gritty of Amiga hardware emulation. The accuracy and performance of WinUAE are also top-notch. It's renowned for its great emulation, ensuring that games and software run as close to the original hardware as possible. For purists and enthusiasts, this accuracy is crucial for an authentic Amiga experience. But all of this power and flexibility comes with a complexity that might be overwhelming for beginners. WinUAE's interface and vast array of options are best navigated by those who already have a good understanding of the Amiga's architecture and emulation in general. Lastly, the active community around WinUAE is a treasure trove of knowledge. From custom configurations shared by users to in-depth discussions about Amiga hardware, it's a community that continues to keep the Amiga spirit alive and kicking. So for the Amiga enthusiasts and experienced users out there, WinUAE isn't just an emulator. It's a comprehensive tool that offers a deep dive into the Amiga world, with all the customization and precision you could wish for. Here are some lesser known emulators that are interesting to take a look at. For the Mac users out there, let me introduce you to VAmiga, an Amiga emulator that's tailor-made for Mac OS. VAmiga is a relatively new player, but it has quickly gained attention for its focus on delivering a smooth emulation experience on Mac OS. This is great news for Mac users who often have fewer options when it comes to emulation. 
One of the highlights of Vamiga is its clean and intuitive interface. It's designed to blend in with the macOS aesthetic, providing a seamless experience that feels right at home on your Mac. This user-friendly design makes it more accessible, especially for those who might be new to emulation. Vamiga excels in emulating the classic Amiga 500, 1000 and 2000 models. It focuses on accuracy, ensuring that games and applications run as they did on the original hardware. For Mac users looking to relive the classic Amiga experience, Vamiga does an impressive job. It's also worth noting that Vamiga is under active development. Regular updates are released, continually refining the emulator and adding new features. This commitment to improvement is a big plus, as it means the emulator keeps getting better and more stable over time. While Vamiga might not yet have the depth of features as some of the more established emulators, its focus on a straightforward macOS friendly experience makes it a strong contender for Mac users. It's all about enjoying the Amiga experience with simplicity and convenience. RetroArch is a versatile emulation platform that becomes a robust Amiga emulator when paired with the PUAE Core. RetroArch is known for its ability to emulate a wide range of systems and with the PUAE Core, it extends this versatility to Amiga emulation. The combination of RetroArch and PUAE is good for a few reasons. Firstly, the convenience of a unified interface. RetroArch provides a consistent and unified experience across all of its emulator cores, including the Amiga via PUAE. This means you get to manage all of your emulation from one place, which is especially handy if you're into emulating multiple systems. Secondly, the PUAE core in RetroArch focuses on delivering an accurate emulation of Amiga hardware. It's regularly updated to ensure compatibility with a wide range of Amiga software and games, making it a reliable choice for purists and enthusiasts alike. Another significant advantage is the customization that RetroArch offers. From video settings to input configurations, RetroArch allows you to tailor your emulation experience. This level of customization is great for those who like to tweak settings to get the best performance or visuals. RetroArch also shines in terms of its support for various input devices. Whether you prefer a classic joystick, a gamepad or keyboard and mouse, RetroArch makes it easy to configure your preferred control setup for Amiga games. Lastly, RetroArch includes features like shaders and save states. These features enhance the overall gaming experience, allowing you to enjoy your Amiga games with all the modern conveniences that RetroArch has to offer. So for those looking for a comprehensive and customizable Amiga emulation solution that integrates seamlessly into a broader emulation ecosystem, RetroArch with the PUAE core is a fantastic choice. In particular for Android users, as whilst there are some standalone emulators for Android available, none are particularly user-friendly and are not updated regularly. Whilst RetroArch does have a reasonable amount of configuration options, I still find it preferable to the existing Amiga emulator apps on the Google Play Store. So there we go. We've covered some of the best of Amiga emulators out there, each with their own unique strengths. I hope this guide has been helpful in finding the right Amiga emulator for your needs. If you have any questions, experiences or tips to share, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Be sure to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more of the same. Also, check out our site howtoretro.com for more retro-related articles. Thanks for watching and see you soon.